So hello and uh, welcome back to another video in our channel. In our video today we have a lot of news for you. First of all we are previewing the game between uh, Aston Villa and Chelsea, the FA Cups uh, replay. As well as we're going to look at um, what Thiago Silva's wife actually said and uh, why Thiago Silva's wife actually had to apologize. And also we are going to look at what Didier Drogba said about Chelsea. He had some very interesting news to say about the club and about the current state of the club. So we are packed with a very interesting show for you today. So first of all, I need to emphasize and I need to point out the emergency meeting that Chelsea actually had. Uh, Chelsea's players actually met with Pochettino and they had a discussion. So. Uh, this is a discussion uh, uh, part of why Chelsea are currently going through bad form, but it's something that needs to be translated on the pitch. So um, there's this guy over here. His name is uh, Unai Emery, also known as uh, Good Evening. So Unai Emery is, uh, is the manager of Aston Villa. We all know him. He's actually one of the best managers in the league. I just rank him third best manager in the league after Klopp and Pep Guardiola. So Unai Emery is definitely setting up his team uh, very ready, tactically well drilled Aston Villa team. And Chelsea will be traveling away at one of the most um, hostile grounds in the Premier League. And this is Villa Park. Villa Park is a place where big teams, top teams have lost teams such as Arsenal, uh, Manchester City and Liverpool to some extent have gone there and failed to grab all three points. So it's a, it's a ground where it's a very tough ground. It's a very tough game for Chelsea. And uh, you cannot be shocked if Chelsea fail to qualify for the next round of the FA Cup, which will be another, another big problem for Maurizio Pochettino. So here we will be optimistic and hope Chelsea can proceed on to the next round of the FA Cup. But uh, it's going to be quite a huge task for Chelsea, especially when they squandered the opportunity to top uh, to finish this game in the first round so upon the recent humiliating defeats that chelsea have, fa have faced chelsea have really failed to win a game away so i'm going to pick a lineup that i believe pochettino should pick so in goal i'm going to go with uh, petrovic he's probably the reason why chelsea have not conceded uh, close to six seven go uh, uh, more than Close to five goals they should have conceded in the last two games. There is a shift. I'm going to go with the back three. Yes, you cannot ship in eight goals and still go with that system. I believe Thiago Silva is one of the best uh, defenders in the club. And um, this is mind-boggling considering that Chelsea have, have spent close to a billion. So it is good if you play him in a, in a match position where he's able to be covered with two centre-backs on either side. So I'm going with a back three. This makes the defence a bit stronger. I'm going to go with uh, two wing-backs, Gusto and Ben Chilwell. I believe that both Gusto and Ben Chilwell are very attack-minded. And it will be good for Chelsea to have attack-minded wing backs in this game because you know very well that um having attack minded wing backs is very good because you have Chilwell who likes attacking gusto who likes attacking and if you have a five at the back system it gives them license to be much more free to hold the wheel in midfield i'm going to go with a midfield double pivot of caicedo and enzo yes i'm still going with caicedo and enzo despite the criticism that both of the players are currently facing I believe that the investment that Chelsea have made in midfield, these are good players. And I believe that if they have much cover by, by having wing backs to help them cover the wide areas as well as an extra center back, they should be okay to marshal the midfield in possession. I'm going to go with the front narrow three uh, of uh, Jackson being the physical presence up front because I don't want Christopher Nkunku to play as the number nine. He looks so lethargic. He looks, looks so disenfranchised on the pitch. His pressing is also not quite great. But if you have Nkunku operating down the, the left while Palmer also operating much narrower and closer in field next to the striker in the number 10 down the right, it will be good. Uh, my pick for the 3 for 3 formation is very good. And I believe that having two narrow players playing close to Jackson will be quite a 
great strength for Nicholas Jackson. Having players such as Gusto and Chilwell having the freedom to bomb forward because they have cover in the wide areas, courtesy of the wide centre-backs, will also be quite important for Chelsea. And this system can enable Chelsea to press high up the pitch, as well as have numerical advantages both in the wide areas and in midfield. Now, we move on to the next story that you're going to talk about, and this is Thiago Silva. So, it looks like Bele Silva, who made a very controversial tweet upon the defeat by Wolves at home, as seems to have been chucked by Thiago Silva and the club. And uh, Bele Silva had to make a public apology based on what she said. And this is what she said. I'm sorry that my personal outburst as a passionate Chelsea fan has uh, caused such an impact. I'm passionate about the team. I thrive on victories and I'm saddened by defeats. We all want the same thing, a winning team. Come on, Chelsea. And this is after she made a very controversial tweet indicating that Maurizio Pochettino should be sacked. I think this is more of a club instructing Thiago Silva to check his wife. Now, uh, on to the next thing that we're going to look at is Mauricio Pochettino. Mauricio Pochettino is still throwing tantrums in the media. And uh, Pochettino is saying that the job at Chelsea is quite difficult, but at the same time, it's an exciting project. So uh, this is uh, giving me a lot of uh, questions to ask the mentality of the manager. And uh, how can a manager come up and say that his job is difficult, yet he knew what is coming? So these are the kind of questions that I ask myself. Paul Marson also had some interesting things to say about Pochettino. He's saying that Mauricio Pochettino has many options, but he hasn't got too many good players. You have got two players in the middle of the pack, Enzo Fernandez and Caicedo, that cost close to 200 million for that price. They should be dictating the game. But this is something that we are not seeing. So the huge blame goes again back to the ownership. They are the ones who sanctioned these expensive transfers. And uh, Mauricio Pochettino actually indicated that after the defeat to Wolves, that the ownership actually contacted him with positive news saying that they are sticking behind him. But again, Todd Boli and Egbali, together with Claire uh, Lake, have also come up with another PR stunt. And um, this takes us to the next news, Drogba. I think they've got, uh, they've got good strikers. I think uh, it's, uh, it's not an easy moment for the club, but uh, they are my, 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 my support and my, and my trust because Chelsea is still st Chelsea, you know, and uh, those kids, I mean, those young players, they came to Chelsea because we created a legacy and they want to be part of this legacy. They want to leave this legacy. So unfortunately, there's no time in football, but they will need time to adjust. And you have to remember that uh, when I joined Chelsea and with my with this group of players who were around 24, 25, 26, some of them 27. So we're already there, you know, ready for the game and they're still learning. They're still young. They're 23, 22, 24. So give them time and uh, they, when they reach their peak, everybody will be like, wow, this is the new generation, the, you know, the best team Chelsea ever had. So it's just a matter of time and uh, I hope the vision will be uh, quite similar as what we had uh, when Roman Abramovich took the club. Despite pressure mounting on the Chelsea head coach, Mauricio Pochettino said he received a very good text from the club's owners following their defeat to Wolves at the weekend. Drogba feels like Pochettino is doing the best job he possibly can. Pochettino, I think everybody knows uh, what he's done in the Premier League. He knows the Premier League well and he's doing uh, the best job possible. And this looks like that uh, PR thing that uh, Todd Boli and uh, Egbali actually carried out by the hiring of Frank Lampard. So now you find that Chelsea are going through a very difficult patch and all of a sudden Didier Drogba comes out with a statement to, to, to the fans that they should believe in Pochettino, they should trust in the process, the young players are going to make it, the, the fans need to be, to be more patient. So this... Uh, looks like a PR stand. So do not buy this. We all know what is happening in the club. The, the, what is happening in the club is that play, um, uh, personnel who are in charge of handling the recruitment of the club failed. 
the manager we know very well is not uh, to the, the par the Chelsea level and uh, the, the emphasis and the media PR about what Pochettino did as Spurs uh, let me show you the, the two tables here that you're going to see Pochettino he managed to just finish third, mount a title charge with 71 points. That is a top four finish in the current league that you are playing. So this is not a huge achievement that people like to ponder that Maurizio Pochettino did this and that. He failed to win a league in a league where Leicester City won the league. That is very, very appalling. Having players such as Aldivareld, Hurricane, Dembele, Wanyama... Eric Dyer, Vatongen, and Loris in the team, and he still failed to win the league in such a weak league by that uh, by the standards. So the statement made by Didier Drogba is a PR stunt by definitely by Pochettino, Egbali, and uh, Klealek. So it's uh, it's it's something that maybe they have approached Didier and they've told him, hey, can you try to steady us the ship, get us off the media? You are a club legend. Can you try and talk? to the fans, try and bring some a bit of semblance into the club, trying to bring some positive vibes. But this is same to what uh, the PR stunt of hiring Frank Lampard when they realized they made a mistake by sucking Tuchel and hiring Graham Potter. So because they wanted to dismiss Potter, they had, they had to bring in Lampard so that they can bring the fans back at the club. Do not buy their PR stunt. This is what I'm telling you. Do not buy their PR stand. Know where the club is, understand the situation. The reason why they want Chelsea fans to back the team, to back Pochettino, to look at this mess they have created is because they know they can't sack Pochettino because they can't afford to sack Pochettino based on their clueless spending. As well as they cannot terminate player contracts or sell those players because they are going to record losses and they are going to be in trouble with FFP. So we are going to look at the implications of uh, Todd Bolly's spend in our next video. But if, you, if you've enjoyed this video, thanks for watching and see you next time. Bye.